it's not hard to see why Winnie is popular. The five-month-old Grudel works four days a week at the Dockers' Coburn headquarters as the club's wellbeing dog. It's a very heightened, stressful environment at times and when people are getting injured or dealing with some form or dealing with some stuff outside of football, just to have that animal around that gives you unconditional support. Everywhere Winnie goes, Angie Bain is close behind. The Dockers' head of wellbeing has been at the club since November, bringing a unique approach. The mental health of our people has been that thing that sits we get to um, after we do all these other things. Now we're flipping it, going, no, this is the this is what's most important. Joanne Craig juggles two high-stress environments as both a player and an emergency department doctor at Perth Children's Hospital. To be able to come to train and be able to have people like that that can not acknowledge that within you, that you're just not yourself and there's something else going on, them to be able to approach you rather than you having to go to them um, is incredible. Former Fremantle captain Nat Fife is one of many senior AFL players to talk about their struggles. Bain says that's helping remove the stigma surrounding mental health. We've got huge change happening in that space and I see it growing. It will take some time, but we need ambassadors, we need champions of change to help continually put the conversation out there. While that change takes place, Winnie will provide a welcome diversion from the day-to-day -day routine at the Dockers. Tom Wildey, ABC News.